everyone. Welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stew and the crew. I'm Rebecca and today we have a Dollar Tree DIY for you guys. And it's really just a review of some of their newer products. So let's go over the supplies. We'll need a Dollar Tree tote bag. They have a few different versions that you can decorate. Also, we'll be using a few different shirts that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I look through them every time I'm there and grab a few when I see ones that I like. We're also going to be using these iron-on transfers. It's a high temperature vinyl in glitter and they are pre-cut for you with a carrier sheet already attached and there are a few several uh, designs that you could purchase. We're also going to be using these embroidered patches that have the adhesive already on the back and there are several different ones you can choose from in those we'll need an iron as well and a piece of cloth to press with so let's get crafty so I'm going to use this long sleeve hoodie that I found at Dollar Tree for just a dollar 25 we're going to remove the plastic from the HTV um, patch here the directions are on the back there is a dot of glue you'll want to remove from the back of the patch before you iron so once you decide where you want your your HTV patch to be. You're just going to put a pressing cloth or some parchment paper on top of your patch. Then take your um, iron on the hottest setting with no steam and you're going to press really hard for about 25 seconds moving the iron around. Once the patch cools, we'll remove that carrier sheet which is the clear sheet that we um, have on top of the glitter. So it's a little hard to see. I didn't even realize it was on there when I first started doing the patch until I read the directions. So you'll just want to lift up on the corner until you get that clear sheet lifted up and then go ahead and just ease it off from the shirt. You want to be careful it doesn't lift up anywhere. If the glitter starts to lift, just stop what you're doing, place that plastic sheet back down and press with your iron a little bit longer and let it cool again before you try to remove it. So once I remove that carrier sheet, I always like to go over the vinyl one more time with the iron, the regular side here, and then I'll flip the shirt inside out and I'll do it one more time. This time I won't use that pressing cloth. I'll just use the iron right on this shirt and I'll be careful to make sure I'm moving the iron around so I'm not burning the glue or the shirt. And all of these shirts have been pre-washed before we started this project. Okay, so here's our first shirt. The second shirt, we're just using a long sleeve, lightweight purple shirt. It's a Gildan brand. And again, we just ironed it on the same way. Right now, I'm just removing that carrier sheet. And I did want to make these shirts a little bit different. I was making them for my girls and they had some requests. So I am going to use my Cricut to cut out some words out of some high temperature vinyl that I just have at home. And then I decided to go ahead and use this light purple to cut out the word good vibes. And then we'll just iron this on the shirt just like we did the smiley face and then remove the carrier sheet. And we'll iron it again from the top and with it inside out. I also did a long sleeve light purple shirt. I cut out the word smile in some pink iron on glitter from the Dollar Tree. We're just going to remove the lettering from the center of the words. It looks almost like a stencil. We'll use the inside of the letters that say smile um, for a different project. So we're going to put the smile on this one. And then for the tote bag, we'll use the letters that were inside of that stencil and we'll use that on the tote bag. So we're just kind of getting a uh, two for one by using that uh, font that we used. As you can see, I ironed on the word smile and that's the um, canvas tote bag. So as you can see, using that iron on glitter from Dollar Tree, if you wanted to cut out your own letters, you just iron it on exactly like you did the patch and then you want to remove that plastic sheet. So here's our tote bag all finished. We also did a comfort color shirt I found at Dollar Tree. We just put the patch on the pocket. I also did a gray shirt. This is an Anvil brand shirt. I really like it with the gray. I thought it was really... Okay, so we waited 24 hours 
per the directions to wash, we washed on a normal cycle using warm water. I tumble dried the shirts inside out for about 35 minutes, and then I hung them to dry the rest of the way because you're really not supposed to put them in the dryer. But I always like to do a test run just to see how they hold up if they do accidentally get thrown in the wash in the dryer. So here are the pictures to show after one washing. They look just fine. I don't see any difference. Um, I thought that they held up really well. So I think um, that they're going to hold up really well long term. And okay, so for the tote bag, I washed it inside out on cold water and I hung it to dry. They will shrink in the dryer if you put them in a dryer, even for just like 10 or 15 minutes. I had them shrink really bad on me when I made some trick or treat bags. So just be mindful of that. But it did hold up well in the wash. Just don't dry them. Now for the patches, I'm going to go ahead and use the avocado. It does have that glue on the back. You want to try to remove that. You don't want any of the wrong adhesive getting in the way of getting the patch to stick to your shirt as you want it to. So the directions are a little bit different for the avocado. It says that you just want to hold your hot iron on top of the patch for about 10 seconds, just enough to tack the patch down. And once it's in place and not moving around, then you want to flip the shirt inside out and press the patch from the back. And you do not need an extra piece of material or parchment paper. You can place it right on top of the patch. It glued down really, really well. It's pleasantly surprised. There's no lifting on the edges. Again, I use some of my vinyl to cut out some words just to make the shirt a little bit special. And since I'm using vinyl, now I am going to use that pressing cloth and then we'll remove the plastic carrier sheets. Again, this part is optional. You, If you have a cutting machine, then of course you can add extra things um, to go with the patches. So my thoughts, I really think that it works well. The directions are clear, easy to follow. The vinyl and embroidered patches both stayed on really well after washing. I would definitely buy these again. Absolutely, I would. I think they're well worth $1.25. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy. Have a great day, everyone.